Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're gonna be doing um, prosthetic transfers from Prozate and Cabosio. So you don't need to have any silicone. Um, obviously the molds I'm gonna be using are from silicone. But if you have any odd ones, like I'm gonna be using today um, my very first mold, um, that it's great. Uh, other than that, I hope you're gonna find it helpful. Uh, I found out this method literally recently and I think it's so great yeah well let's get into the video all right so for this project I'm gonna be using two molds I made them around three four years ago those are actually my one of my first molds that I made so hopefully they look nice one is um, a cut scratch and then a plain uh, cut we're gonna be using prosate, any kind of prosate cream or liquid. Um, I have cream and cabosil, um, and it's from News Materials. Then we're gonna use a cup for mixing and some sticks, and then of course Vaseline. And just before um, we begin, I would like to just say, please be careful with cabosio, don't breathe it in. It is a fine dust, so try to make sure everything stays in the packaging or you're just literally not spreading it around. We're gonna use Vaseline to cover our molds. It's gonna help um, release the piece. And then we're gonna take our prosate, um, quite a fair amount, and then color it. Um, I'm using my foundation. Um, remember that the color of um, your dye or your foundation is gonna your, be your final color, which means the whiteness is gonna disappear when it dries. And now I'm putting cabosio. It's really, there's no measurements for this. You just need um, a good paste, like a toothpaste. You know, you, you're gonna see, you're gonna feel it. It cannot be crispy, but it also cannot be liquidy. Here I have prosthetic cream, so it's it's creamy, but I need it a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna mix it. Um, and why I'm putting color before cabosio is just because it's easier to mix. Next, we are just applying this on our mold, nice and smooth. Pay attention to any bubbles because as we see it's not liquidy which means you have to kind of press it very highly press it into the mold and I'm going to do both of them but I think I'm gonna um, apply only one of them to show you how it looks like applied so I'm smoothing it out um, I want the edges to be as smooth as possible so when I apply it you cannot go back and blend it um, pay attention to to the mold like around the piece if there's any like prosate or anything try to clean it up because it's gonna stick to your skin with your piece when we are done we're gonna wait and now that's probably the worst part of making transfers, this kind of transfers with this method. I can tell you exactly how long I wait because it really depends on the piece. Smaller ones tend to get ready earlier, but you're gonna see it as the whiteness disappears and the color stays and yeah, you can see like the piece got darker. The whiteness from the prosate start to fade out. So when my piece is ready, I'm gonna apply um, well, I'm applying here prosate, but you can use um, any kind of prosthetic glue. I'm gonna apply prosate and wait till it dries. I take my piece and literally stick it to my hand. So it does transfer, it should transfer quite smoothly. And that's pretty much it. Like. From that part, it's done. Now you just have to clean it around because like you can see, like I said before, make sure there's no glue around, but <laughs> um, sometimes it does happen. So I just take um, acetone and clean 
um, the bits that are like sticking out but don't touch with acetone the edge try to keep it as clean as possible and then I just color it I'm using skin illustrator palettes for that you can apply a little bit of blood uh, I'm just making it as um, bloodless as possible And that's, that's it really, that's my final application. I do think this method is really good if you need a very quick application without need to blend edges, with blend cut plastic with skin, um, and also it's good for wounds. And on the end, I was wondering, because I've never actually stitched a wound, um, so, <laughs> so please don't do it at home, uh, because you can hurt yourself. It's on my own responsibility. It was just for fun and it looked quite damn cool. <laughs> Look interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want more this kind of videos um, you can just drop me a comment also visit my Instagram for uh, more artworks I would really really appreciate that and um, yeah see you in the next video well you see me in the next video hopefully <laughs>